Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at using external third-party JavaScript libraries within a TypeScript web application. Uh, but it doesn't have to be limited to web applications, it could be mobile applications as well if you're using a hybrid technology. Uh, but for specifics, we're going to uh, focus on strictly web applications in this scenario. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with TypeScript, TypeScript is a superset to JavaScript. It allows you to use a typed programming language that compiles down into JavaScript code. Uh, this is incredibly useful if you want to work on a project as a team, whereas other teammates will be able to figure out what your functions and variable names refer to. It also allows you to check for bugs at compile time rather than trying to fiddle with it and figure out what's wrong during runtime. Uh, but this is really beyond TypeScript language itself. This is, we're, we're really looking at just how to use third-party libraries, and it, it really isn't that difficult. Um, but I am going to go through a full demo because when I was learning it, it, it was a little tricky, and I want to make sure everybody understands it uh, the way I went through the process. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal, uh, and we're going to create a new project on our desktop. Let's say make directory my project. And then we're going to navigate into my project. And let's go ahead and create the following directories. Make directory source. Make directory source slash JS. Make directory source slash app. And then now we can create some files. So we're just going to say touch source slash app slash tsconfig.json. We're going to create another file. We're going to say touch source slash app slash index.html. And then we're going to create two app files. So we're going to say touch source slash app slash app.js. And then we're going to create another file called app.html. So if you haven't figured it out already, we are going to be using Angular 2 as our TypeScript project. Uh, you don't have to use Angular 2 when working with TypeScript, but this is just what I'm choosing to use since Angular 2 at the moment is all the rage. Uh, so this is going to be an Angular 2 TypeScript application. With all of our files and directories in place, we want to initialize a new uh, node package. So we can say npm init hyphen y. So that'll just create a default package.json file at the root of our project. Now what we want to do is we want to install all of the Angular 2 dependencies, including TypeScript. So we can say npm install Angular 2 at 2.0.0 hyphen beta and then whatever beta you're on. I believe beta 1 is out, but I'm going to stick with beta 0 uh, since it's the one I've worked with the most. Although I wouldn't expect too much to have changed, if anything, between the beta versions. We're also going to include system.js, TypeScript, as well as live server. And we're going to use the hyphen hyphen save command. Perfect. With all of the dependencies downloaded, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open it in our Finder window. So let's go ahead and say uh, open and then period. We'll open up Finder. Uh, if you're using Windows or Linux, just go ahead and navigate to your project um, that you created on your desktop or wherever you might have created it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose to open package.json because we need to change a few things. Uh, not really change, but more more along the lines of add. So in the script section, we want to add TSC, and we want to say TSC hyphen P source hyphen W for watch. And this will allow us to compile as we go along. We also want to add a start, which will which will start running our live server. And we want the live server to open up our source directory. And you can go ahead and save it. 
with the package.json file set up, let's go ahead and open up source. And then we want to open up app. But you know what? It looks like, uh, nope, everything looked good, my bad. So now we want to open up our TS config. So our TS config is going to be all of the compiler options for TypeScript. And if you're using Atom like I am, uh, it'll go ahead and compile as you type and hit, and hit save if you have the particular TypeScript plugin installed. I know there's a lot of other editors that offer this as well. Um, go ahead and use those if you prefer, but I'm using Atom by GitHub. So let's go ahead and add the following. Compiler options. You know what, let's put that in quotes. Compiler options. And let's say target. And our target's gonna be ES5. Let's say module, and we're gonna use system J, uh, common JS. We're gonna say source map. True. All right, so with that out of the way, uh, this is just our most basic TS config file, uh, but it's enough to get us going. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this file. I'm also gonna exit out of package.json because we're no longer need those. Up next, what we wanna do is we want to say, uh, open up our index.html. And you know what? I actually have it a bit wrong. Uh, we, we want the index.html to be at the source level. We also want the TS config file to be at the source level. Yeah, so when I was looking at it, I, I figured something looked a little wrong. I had placed them in the wrong directory. So just to be clear, index.html and tsconfig.json should both be uh, at the source level, and then app.js and app.html should be at the source slash app level. With that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and type in the uh, index.html code, and then I'll go ahead and, and explain what it does. All right. At this point, I have a complete up until this step index.html file. And just to be clear, uh, we're using modules that we downloaded uh, via NPM. So remember, our modules are back a directory from source and inside node modules. Uh, so we're including the Angular 2 polyfills. We're including system.js, Rx JavaScript, and then the Angular 2 development dependency. Uh, with that said, uh, we're setting up our system configuration and we're importing the app, uh, which is the app.js file found in our app directory. Uh, right here you can see this custom tag called my app. Uh, my app is a tag that we're going to define within our app.js file. Uh, but this is a good test because if, if it says loading when we try to load our web page, uh, it means something's wrong because it shouldn't say loading in the end. It should show our content. Uh, so it's a very good test and you'll see why soon. That out of the way, what you want to do is you want to download uh, JS Shaw. Uh, so I have the website up here. JS Shaw is a hashing library. I use it all the time. Uh, it's a JavaScript library. And yes, there are type definitions for it for TypeScript. But I'm going uh, with the assumption that there may not be type definitions for every JavaScript library that exists. So let's assume that type, type definitions do not exist for this JavaScript library, and we have to go ahead and define our own things in order to get it to work. So you can download the zip. Uh, I already downloaded it to my desktop. Uh, so what we can do is we can copy it over to our JavaScript directory. Uh, so let's see what where I am in the path. All right. So we can say uh, copy desktop Shaw, and let's place it in source slash app JS. Perfect. Um, and it should show up in our JavaScript directory now. Yeah, it did. So let's go ahead and add it to our script section. All right, JS Shaw has now been included into our project. Uh, now we can start bringing things to an end by working with our Angular 2 uh, TypeScript code. So I actually still have a typo, um, silly me. So uh, this, this app.js file 
it should actually be app.ts. So let's go ahead and rename it. Because remember, we're doing a TypeScript project, not a JavaScript project. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and remain in our in our TypeScript file because this is where we're going to start our coding now. Let's go ahead and uh, add import component view from Angular 2 slash core. And then we also want to add the bootstrap. So I'm going to finish typing out this file and then I'm going to explain uh, what it does after. All right, perfect. So this is the base skeleton to this app.ts file. Uh, so here we're including all of our dependencies up top that we're going to be using within this file. Uh, we're saying that our selector is my app because remember in index.html we also used my app. So anything that's in between those tags will be replaced with this template URL, so whatever we place in uh, app.html. Uh, so in our constructor, uh, it's blank, and then we're bootstrapping the app class. So this is where things get interesting. This is where um, our actual tutorial comes into place, uh, is actually using that JS Shaw library. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to declare it, because right now TypeScript has no idea what it is. It's included in our project, but, but we don't know how to use it. So what we want to do at the top is we want to say declare var js shaw any. So js shaw, I didn't I didn't pick this at random. This is an actual function from within the shaw library. Um, so this is considered the I guess you can say constructor function. Um, it's it's the core function that you use with js shaw. Um, so down in the app, uh, I'm going to create two public variables. So I'm going to create shaw object. And I'm also going to create hash, and that's a string. And these I, I'm just picking at random. So now we can make use of that library. So we can say this dot shaw object equals new js shaw. Remember, I just I just used it up top. I declared it. I'm going to say I want to use the shaw 512 algorithm, and we're going to pass it values of text. Now we're going to say this dot shaw object equals not equals dot update this is a test so this is what we're going to hash and then we're going to say this dot hash equals this dot shaw object dot get hash and the hash is going to be a hexadecimal string now we can save it uh, so that's basically all of our TS, our TypeScript stuff. So it, we're now using a JavaScript library in TypeScript. Uh, so now we can just go ahead and create an app.html file. Well, it's already created. We just need to populate it. And we're going to make it very simple. So we're going to say, uh, let's say paragraph string. This is a test, which is what we're hashing. And we're also going to say uh, in a new paragraph hex, let's say in, in curly brackets hash all right so in theory we're done if, the, if I made no mistakes but I've already made a few mistakes already but I showed you how to correct them so going back to your terminal or command prompt or whatever you're using uh, let's go ahead and say npm run tsc emit decorator metadata so I probably made a typo in here so let's go ahead and go to our TS config all right TS config and yeah so this should actually be a lowercase d so emit decorator metadata with uh, metadata is one word so let's go back to our terminal and we're going to try that command again and it looks like it compiled so we're running this just in case your your text editor uh, doesn't automatically compile these like mine does and for whatever reason Adam wasn't uh, but that's all right so cancel out of that now we're actually gonna run a little server so we're gonna say let's go ahead and say 
npm run start. And there you go. Uh, so it created a hash exactly as it should with the JS SHA library. Um, and then this was the string that it hashed. So it wasn't very hard. Uh, we used uh, TypeScript with Angular 2. We used JS SHA library. And in reality, I mean, this, this tutorial was lengthy, but I felt like you kind of needed the whole backstory in order to fully understand it like I did. Um, and all we did was declare uh, a particular variable or function from within the JavaScript library. Of course, if no type definitions existed online.